friends, this is a follow-up video to one that we did a, mm, a month, month and a half, two months ago. It's been a little while, and we actually filmed some footage uh, with a gift from our good friend Bob and his wife Melody, Bob Mel's Simple Life or Simple Living. They gifted us a bolo knife, which in the Philippines, this is called a sundong. There are lots of different knives that are, are made there. This particular one is a specialty used for chopping vines, cracking open coconuts and doing other things. But there's a lot of other history to this knife. Um, in the Philippines, there's been a lot of different conflicts. Are you busy, sweetie? You wanna talk about it a little bit? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, she's busy, so I'm gonna do the talking again. No surprise there. So, <laughs> but this knife uh, has a lot of different uses. Uh, on the previous video, my son SK2 talked about it a little bit. Is this a Z weapon? It could be a, a Z weapon for what? killing zombies. For zombies? Yep, for to zombies. To kill people? No, not to no. kill people. We for don't... killing robot players? This is also not just for, you know, the fields, for cutting vines. This is also a weapon of war and combat in the Philippines. So a lot of different uses for it, but we're not going to use it for anything other than uh, cracking open coconuts, maybe doing some stuff in the garden. So today we're going to do our second attempt at cracking open a coconut. So let me pause you. I'll reposition the camera and hopefully do better this time because the last time I did it this knife split that coconut like tissue paper so I'm gonna be more careful with coconut number two and then we'll save the coconut flesh and the liquid and Mrs. SG is going to do a, a, a Filipino dessert what is it called sweetie with Rice the ube cake? no with the ube Say it louder. Halaya. Halaya. So let me open this so that she can do what she does better than me. Drum roll, please. And much more gently than the last time. Careful. Oops, maybe less gentle than that. Ooh, that was one run. All right, but you were right, sweetie. What happened? So this one is. Oh no! Uh, 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 uh. Okay. No. So this is an example of a not good coconut. So this coconut was already cracked when we got it, and we can see now it's already got mold in it. So this one will be going back. So unfortunately, that coconut was not good. We're gonna take that back and get one that is good with no mold on it for my wife to do the dessert on. But this is more of a sundong knife or a bolo knife video than it is a cooking video. Even though I am gonna show a quick shot of her making the Filipino dessert, which is almost a pudding type dessert. But uh, it also has shaved coconut on top. And our friend uh, Celeste from Celeste Nest, she asked if we could do a, a Filipino dessert with the ube that we grew. So I'll sprinkle some shots either before this or after this of us harvesting some of the ube and her reducing the, what is it called again? Halaya. The halaya. And I'll see if I can find the halaya recipe to link below this um, instead of writing it all out for anybody that wants to try it. So as always this is Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essiance Family Garden. God bless our great country America, you wherever you reside around the world, your garden, your harvest, your kitchen, your meals, and especially your family have health, success, and prosperity. And especially God bless his family, Bob and Melody at Bob Mel's Simple Living 
for the gift that they blessed us, this uh, bolo knife or sundong as it's called in the Philippines. Take care. Sap her out. <laughs> so the sundong knife really will split open a coconut. Yep. So let me show you guys what we're gonna use this coconut for. So Mrs. SG is making a mix. We're going to do a uh, Filipino rice cake kind of a cake pudding. So we're going to shred up the coconut, use whatever coconut milk we can get from the coconut we just cracked open, shred some of the flesh, and then we'll show you guys what it looks like. Just not really the full recipe, but kind of a Filipino traditional dish.